ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today we're talking about some NVIDIA news, both about the upcoming GTX 1650, which has been leaked, and the apparently RTX 2070 Ti, which is potentially coming out, which... Anyway, before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know that Price Spy now has two new features, and these are actually really cool. So one of them is their price history. So this is just really nice. It lets you know, you know, what a price uh, CPU or GPU for that matter used to be, and if it's trending down or maybe it's trending up, who knows? And they also have introduced a side-by-side -side comparison feature, which is actually really, really cool. So this allows you to compare, say, CPUs side by side, uh, and it's really nice. So definitely, if you haven't checked out PriceBuy, check them out, pricebuy.co.nz. So today we're talking about two NVIDIA cards, and we'll start with the GTX 1650. So this comes from WCCF Tech, but it's been widely reported. And obviously this is gonna be a very entry level card. It's looking like it's not gonna need a power connector, so that's gonna be interesting. That'll mean the TDP will probably be something around 75 watts. And obviously this is going to be a card aimed at entry level gamers, people that are just wanting to say buy their first GPU or something like that, or they're building a very uh, cheap system. So it's gonna be good for those people out there. So let's have a read of the article. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 would be the next card which will make its way to the family and feature a new Turing GPU SKU with more cores than the GTX 1050 Ti, but performance almost as good as the GeForce GTX 1060 three gigabyte as earlier benchmark leaks suggest. The card is said to feature clock speeds of around 1395 MHz base and 1560 MHz on the boost, but custom models will be operating at much higher clock speeds out of the box. The memory would be 4 GB of GDDR5 that will operate across a 128-bit bus interface. So that all seems really good to me. I mean, if the performance is going to be the same as a 1063 GB, then that's going to be very good for entry-level gamers. And four gigabytes of GDDR5 memory is fine as anyone using this GPU will just be playing at 1080p, so, so that's plenty enough. It goes on to read, it looks like the speculation that the card wouldn't require any PCIe power turned out to be correct as the leak models compiled by video cards show that none of the cards would require an external power source to boot and gets its power directly from the PCIe slot. That's really cool. This is something that has been sort of trending along these entry level cards so that's really interesting i would imagine all of these cards will be the very small models that we've seen previously you know single fan ones maybe there'll be some slightly bigger ones but i imagine they'll be all these sort of compact graphics cards uh but yeah i mean that's good as well it's going to make it easier for first time builders especially you know a lot of people forget to put connectors in so it's just one less thing for them to forget to do but uh yeah this, this is just pretty much what I would expect at this point. So it looks like the 1650 is going to be launching in a few weeks time. I'm not sure on the price just yet, but I would imagine it would be quite low given that this is an entry level graphics card. It'll be interesting to see how it stacks up against AMD's cards, you know, the 500 series. Uh, I would imagine this will do quite well against them if we're basing it off what these leaks are suggesting. But I will obviously have to see once the GPU comes out. But the other GPU I wanted to talk about in this video was the rumored RTX 2070 Ti. And this one I find particularly interesting. So if we think back to the previous generation, the Pascal GPUs, we had the 1070 and the 1080, and then Nvidia, quite a way through Pascal's life cycle, released the 1070 Ti. That was because the Vega 56 came out which the Vega 56 kind of slotted itself between the 1070 and the 1080 in terms of performance. I am aware that the Vega 56 in certain titles could beat a 1080 as well. So Nvidia really needed something to just directly compete with the Vega 56 as the 1070 and the 1080 did, but sort of they were kind of uh, under and above it, so to speak. And the 2070 Ti from what I'm reading, really does seem like NVIDIA doing that same trick again because it worked last time with the 1070 Ti. I mean, I thought it was a stupid graphics card to release at the time, but it obviously worked because NVIDIA's sole purpose for releasing that GPU was to take sales away from AMD, take sales away 
from the Vega 56. And this seems like they're doing the same trick again with the 2070 Ti, except this time they're going after the Radeon 7. So this was spotted on the Userbench database, but some of the specifications are a bit funny, like it says it only has seven and a half gigabytes of memory, which would make no sense at all. It'll definitely have eight. There's no reason why they would release it with 7.5. Uh, also, the clock speeds are a little bit lower, but that could just be something interesting they're doing depending on how many CUDA cores it has. Uh, if they're gonna maybe give it a bit more, well, so obviously it would have more than the 2070 and then draw down those clock speeds a little bit. Nvidia will be doing something funny with it there. My main thing is I don't really see why it needs to exist. Granted, there is a decent price gap between the 2070 and 2080. It's about $200 on average US. Performance-wise, there is less of a gap between them. It's only about 10 to 12% performance on average, that is, between the 2070 and the 2080. They're fairly close in terms of performance. There's a much bigger gap from the 2080 to the 2080 Ti. That is quite a sizable gap of about 30% on average. There's also a much more sizable gap in terms of the price as well between the 2080 and 2080 Ti. So if Nvidia was going to release anything, I would think to me personally, a card between the 2080 and 2080 Ti might be a better option. That's just personally speaking. But that being said, I mean, I think this is not something they probably planned on doing. I just think they're going to price it, obviously, so it's $100 more expensive than the 2070 and $100 uh, cheaper than the 2080, and it'll have performance in between both of them. And the whole point of it is because the Radeon 7 right now competes pretty directly to the 2080, so they might be thinking that the 2070 Ti uh, will have just a little bit lower performance than say the Radeon 7 but will come in at say a hundred dollars cheaper and so people will go out and buy that instead. That's just my thinking. We don't have a huge amount of information to go on right now but there is quite a bit of speculation surrounding a 2070 Ti so I would say this is something Nvidia probably maybe didn't plan on releasing uh, but they're just doing it now just as so they have full saturation of the market even more saturation than they already have and they have something that really does undercut undercut the uh, Radeon 7 whereas the 2080 which I still view as probably the superior card to the Radeon 7 in certain ways for the most users, especially gamers. If you're doing productivity stuff and, and other things like that, then the Radeon 7, uh, there's, there's more reasons to get that. But for just pure gamers, uh, enthusiasts, that crowd, I would probably say the 2080 is better for most people, especially going forward with uh, ray tracing and all the other stuff. If that does become a big thing, I think the 2080 is the better bet out of the two. That being said, um, yeah, I think that's probably what they're going for with the 2070 Ti. But personally speaking, I don't really feel like they need to release it. But of course they will, I would imagine, because they did the same. I didn't think the 1070 Ti really needed to exist. And it exists. So, <laughs> you know, it's just NVIDIA doing what they do best, which is just over-saturating the market to the point that they don't mind if you don't you know, they just want you to buy NVIDIA. That's that's all they care about. They just want you to buy NVIDIA. They don't really so much care about which model it is. I'm sure they would really like people to buy things like the 2080 Ti with the fat profit margins on them. But at the end of the day, they just want you to buy NVIDIA. I think that's just the thing, the, uh, that, that's just what they really want. But anyways, I'm going to throw it to you guys. What do you think about the 1650 and also the 2070 Ti. I mean, the 1650, that's definitely coming out. I mean, there's pictures of them, and you know, so that's definitely coming out. 2070 Ti, that's looking like a bit more of a rumored thing, but I, from, from my personal experience, I would say that it will be coming out. So I wanna know what you guys think uh, of both of those graphics cards. Are you interested in any of them? What do you think about the 20, 2070 Ti? Do you think it would be a good move from NVIDIA? Do you think it'd be a bad move? Really like to know what you guys think. Anyways, I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.